Welcome to Trading Lounge and the European Indices for the 1st of February and starting with the DAX on the daily chart here. So um, we're counting five waves from the low to 11,500, which is a medium level in terms of the trading level. So I think there's still one more little move to the upside for this and for um, the other European markets and also for the US as well. So on the four hour chart here, just counting up here, um, I've rearranged the count a little bit, so um, but still wave one here, wave two, wave one, two, three, four, and one and two and three and four and five for the third wave. I'm looking at this as an A wave, a B wave, and a C wave for wave four here. Um, if this market drops below 11,000, then we've got a top in place. Okay, while that 11,000 remains, then um, the market is bullish. So on the one hour chart, and this is the 11,500 uh, area here. Uh, once that's completed, of course, we'll be looking for essentially a corrective pattern across the 11,500 here. And whatever type of pattern uh, occurs here, it should be a simple zigzag pattern, but um, uh, I mean, the normal event for the 11,000 here is the arrival, the reaction, the first high above the level, and then an A wave, a B wave, and a C wave here. And what we do is we just look to um, find different ways of actually moving in um, to these markets uh, here, uh, across these levels here. But we're using the 11,500 as a reference point and the corrective pattern that um, that unfolds across it, we use for the setups to uh, trade longer there. So whatever occurs uh, here, um, we, you know, we won't be interested in trading it too much until the pattern matures somewhat um, and establishes the accumulation process for the next distribution process, which is the trend. On the one hour chart uh, here, we're looking at it like this here. So what you could do here is you could wait for this little move up through here. This is like, it looks like a fourth wave here. So fifth wave up through here, there should be some sort of move back. Once that reference point high is in here, then you can move across there um, and use that as your reference point. You may be able to move across here as this is an ABC here, using the 11,200 as a tested support to move into the long side uh, here. Um, once again, I mentioned 11,000 uh, here, but uh, in this case, we can on the hourly chart, we can bring it up to 11,100. If this is breached, then we're in more of a bearish pattern here. But um, I see this as an impulse wave as an A and a B, whoops, an A wave here, an A and a B and a C for the B wave and down for the C wave here. It doesn't count very nicely down as five waves. I, I know that. Um, this is why um, we're looking for a stronger setup in this uh, area through here. And just trying to find the French market here. So just bear with me for a second. Just want to find France. Okay, so France is much the same as well. But with France, I'm counting a little bit differently. It just seems to be that way. Um, because it's low here to here, I can count three waves in here. So I really need to use this one here as one and two and three is quite powerful, four and five, even though um, it's got overlapping wave structures. So I'm not quite sure which is the best way to count this, but um, this count uh, is pretty much in line with um, some of the other markets, um, except we've got the extension in the fifth wave here in terms of wave one and two and three and four, and then moving up in terms of one and two and three and four. And then in the fifth wave, we've got one and two and three and four, and we'll push up here further into wave five here. Once again, we'll use this level here, the 5,000 here, um, as, as the um, corrective pattern for the setup um, for any further long trade through this way here, just by going through here and having that. Once we've got a pattern here, then we can move in on this side of it. That's what we're really looking for here. So the US markets and, and these European markets are still a little bit further to go before they top out, and then we'll be looking for a corrective pattern. So that corrective pattern may happen just in into this space here and then down into this space here. So then we'll, we'll look at that di a bit differently, but the same thing applies as well. We need this correction here, this um, accumulation process to develop, 
and then we can look to move into the next trend to the upside. The UK market, same, same as well, um, same but different. In this case here, we looked at wave four being low here on the hourly chart, and I've, I've counted this here in line with the cash market. So have a look at the cash market and you'll see there um, what's going on uh, clearer, but um, this being a fourth wave pullback in this space. Um, here for another move to the upside. So I've moved the stop up from here to um, right up close in here. Um, look to take profit anywhere above the 7,000 when you see it weak. If you can count five waves from here in terms of one and two and three and four and five coming up into the 750 area, seven, 7,048 would be, it's always good. Oh, well, it's, yeah, anyway, number eight is where the profit taking will come in. So 48. Um, and then, of course, all the orders will be sitting there at 50. Once again, we'll be looking for a uh, move, uh, a pattern that we can work with across the 7,000, but um, we'll look at that when we get there. And the MIB as well, slightly unsure of its count, but um, we have the 20,000 to work with. So in this case, we still want to see um, the reaction either from the 20,000 or push just above it, and then we can look at the A, the B, and the C wave here, and then we can look to move in over here. It's just, it's the thing with the markets, isn't there? There's like, there's no trades, or then there's so many trades. So it's always a little bit um, tricky to, um, to, to, to get a bit of an average on that. But um, look, that's just the way that it is. So yeah, the count here, I'm just trying to sort of look at the best um, solution for for this. We could already have a top in play here already for this and we react from um, from here, but I'll just well, I just want to see it. It's not going to make any difference when we don't have a trade in here at this particular stage. Um, so we just need to, like I mentioned before, we just need to wait for this to um, to unfold. But let's just see how that goes. Alrighty, um, thanks for tuning in and enjoy the weekend. Cheers.